Welcome back. Now it's time to age our tombstone using paint. The first thing you're going to want to do is base this thing in a flat black. If you're going to use this outside, I recommend using an exterior latex paint. This will help add a waterproofing security to the stone itself. Once the entire stone is painted black and dried, then we're going to come back through and dry brush white over the entire stone. This is just a painting technique that I picked up a while back. I enjoy it and it really creates depth in your paint. Now that that's all dry, we can start with some color. This is a latex paint that I've got watered down. The reason it's watered down is I want that black and white texture underneath from the paint before to show through. Now, I didn't have it quite watered down as thin as I wanted it, so instead of adding more water to it, all I did was spread it on and then come back with a paper towel and wipe it back off to thin it out that way i can still see that black and white texture underneath once that's completely dry we're going to come back in again with a watered very watered down black paint and cover the whole thing just like we did with the gray spread the uh, watered down black paint all over the stone and then come back through with a paper towel and wipe it off this will darken down that gray so it's not so bright so to add some more interest to the stone, I decided I was going to take some green paint and come back in these cracks and add the paint in the cracks to represent like a moss was starting to grow in all these cracks. Then after that, I came back in. I thought it was a little too bright. I came back in. This is actually a, a light brown color. It looks more yellow in this, but I came back in and hit over that green and then pulled down all the edges as if time and rainwater had washed dirt into the cracks and this is where the water would trail most of the time to bring that dirt down and give an aged look to the stone itself. Now to really start aging the stone I made a tea, tea stain or a wash and this was just a little bit of black paint and a whole lot of water and you just take that out of the cup and just dip it right on top of the stone and just let it drain down just let gravity do the work for you go back to the bottom pick up the stuff that's come hit the bottom and bring it back to the top just do that over and over again until basically you don't have any paint puddling up at the bottom of the stone anymore now i just wasn't feeling how this mustardy color was looking so i came back in with a, another shade of brown just a little bit darker than what i put on before and it came back through and lightly basically dry brushed all those areas again that had that mustard color to darken them up, get more of a dirty look to it. Just went back over all that stuff I'd already done. Now, once I was done with that, this isn't completely dry, but I came back through with uh, white and dry brushed the stone again. This picks back up all those little accents and makes the stone pop and really starts bringing it back to life again. After the dry brush was done, it was time to come back in and get these letters to start popping back out. So it was real simple, just a little bit of black paint and a small paintbrush and come back in and paint in all these letters just to bring them back out. Also, once this was done, I took a very small tipped paintbrush and came back in and started adding black to all these little cracks that I had carved into the stone in the clay previously before. Now that we've gone back over our lettering in black and we've come back through and highlighted all those cracks with black paint, it was time to do one more final step of a tea stain. Now this tea stain was a mixture of that kind of burnt yellow color and the brown we did before. Not much of that paint mixed together with a whole lot of water. Once again, it's just the same thing. You're loading up your paintbrush full of that stain and then just plopping it right down on top of the stone and letting gravity take over and just letting that paint run wherever it wants to run you just go through put it on come back in the bottom collects up the paint you collect it from the bottom of the stone and back up to the top just over and over again until basically you have no more paint puddling up at the bottom of your stone and once this thing dried up 
I decided that that green really wasn't giving me the moss look that I wanted. So I ran down to Hobby Lobby and found this moss stuff that's basically on a roll. I found it in their um, flower section that they had. So I bought some, brought it home to give it a try. Absolutely loved it. All I did was take pieces of it and kind of cut it to fit in the crack I was working on. Once I got it halfway cut to fit, then I just came back through and cut it down more. Now like what I'm doing here on the edges, I came back through with the scissors on all the edges and kind of roughed it up. I didn't want just a flat, nice little cut to the moss. I wanted it to look like it was actually growing on the rock. So cut it to fit, come back through, roughed up all the edges. Once I had it proportioned right and I knew it was going to set in right, then I just added glue to the bottom of it and glued it into place. Now the glue I'm using here, I've used before because it holds up well in the rain. It is liquid fusion. I'm sure there's other glues out there that will do just as well. Um, this is just one I happened to use a long time ago and I had success with it on other things. So I decided that I would use it on this one as well. As far as placement of the moss, just let your imagination run wild. Put it wherever you think it should be where you think it would grow. It's truly up to you where all these mossy spots are going to be on your stone. So here we go, our finished stone. I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, it was really enjoyable to make. I love the way it turned out. I really dig this moss. It, it makes such a cool look on the stone. Uh, the only thing other than that that needs to be finished up on it is uh, put a sealer on it. I'll use a uh, spar urethane over it. If you do, it's going to gloss it up a little bit so you can come back through with some flat, clear spray paint and knock that gloss off. Uh, thinking back on this, the only thing I might have done different was waited to add the moss after I had did the final seal on the stone. But no matter what, I think it's going to turn out fine and look great. So... Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something new with this uh, set of tutorials on the tombstone.